everybody, it's Holly here today for Your Next Stamp, and today we're going to be creating a cute little box using the Takeout Die box. And I'm going to start out using a piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock that I cut in half, and I'm going to be running this through my Big Shot. So I went ahead and ran the base part of the box through the Big Shot, and this set comes with additional pieces you can use to build your box and decorate it. I'm going to be using these two pieces here that you can use to cut pattern paper, or you can also use these pieces to cut a window in the box. They are perfectly cut to leave a little bit of a border around the side. And I'm going to be using some of the um, Hugs and Kisses pattern paper. I'm using this pink piece here that has some little kisses on it, or some lips, I should say. And I'm going to run that through the Big Shot. I'm going to die cut two of each piece to use on the box, and then I'm just using some adhesive to attach that to it. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to score your box to make sure everything works where it should. Um, the score lines that this gives is pretty good. You should really don't need your bone folder, but you can crease anything up nice and firm if you want. I'm just using my hand here, and then if you really want to make it nice and crisp, there's one on the end here you might need your bone folder for. So I'm just folding on all the lines, and then I'm going to use the tape to tape those pieces of pattern paper down. And then we're going to use some... You want to use a really good piece of adhesive... Um, tape adhesive. I like to use either sticky strip or I'm not sure what this other, I think it's called score tape is the tape that I'm going to use. Any type of really strong adhesive you're going to want to use on that flap to close the box and you also want to use a really strong adhesive on the bottom of the box to help hold it together if you are going to put something inside of it. You don't want to give your box your something and have it falling apart. <laughs> so you're going to take that little flap there and you're going to put some score tape on that. And when you have your box laid out, facing up is the outside. You want your score tape on that part of the flap. And then for the bottom of the box, you want to fold your flaps in. And then you're actually going to put the tape on the underside of the bottom flap. This is how I do it. Um, you could put tape on all the pieces if you wanted, but it really only needs one piece if you use a really good adhesive. So then you want to start out by attaching the flap to the side there. I like to do that first because you can just fold it down and really adhere it. You can rub it together while the box is flat to really make sure you've got a good grip there with the paper, the tape. Then you just fold your bottoms in and then you're just going to fold over the bottom flap, the outside flap that has a tape on it. And then you can use your bone folder to get down on the inside or you could use your finger or a pencil or whatever you have on your desk. Just to kind of rub it make sure it's secure. And then we're going to go ahead and these other pieces here you can use to cut if you're going to have your box open or on the top. These are fit perfectly around these to cut out extra pattern paper. And there's little ones to cut stars on the side of the box. There's some hearts. There are some little words like yum and nom nom and exo thanks. Lots of little words. And there's also a little tag die that we're going to use. So I'm going to cut two additional pieces, rectangular pieces, to go on top of my box. I'm just die cutting those out and using the same adhesive to put those on the top there. You could do this part before you build the box if you want. I literally was filming this kind of going along creating the box as I was filming. So you just put the, the flaps come out so you really could just do it this way as well. So just put your paper on there. You could also do this reverse where you cut the box pattern out of pattern paper then you use some solid cardstock to decorate it with. And then I'm going to be using the Froggy Love stamp set to kind of add a little decoration to my box. I'm just picking one of the images here. And I'm going to put, grab a piece of scrap watercolor paper that's laying on my desk. And I'm just going to stick that into my mini Misty and I'm going to stamp the frog image. I'm going to use some Versamark ink for this because I'm going to be watercoloring. So I want to make sure that my uh, outline of the image isn't going to bleed or anything when I add the water. So I'm going to stamp that twice just because it's watercolor paper so it's a little bit of a rough texture. And then I'm going to use a water brush and some distress markers for my coloring. So I'm going to go ahead and just color the outline of the image with a distress marker. So 
So I'm just working, going around, kind of tracing the image along the outside, and then I'm going to pull the color from the outside into the center with the water brush. Now, when you're working with a water brush or even a paintbrush, and you're working with distressed ink like this, or any watercolor really, when you've only stamped the image with the first mark, you really want to make sure you don't get too much water along the outside edge of your image because it can bleed out, out of the outer line of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and color that in. Then once I have my first layer done, I'm going to go ahead and heat set with my heat tool. And then I'm going to go ahead and color the additional pieces as well. And then I'll heat set that as well to make sure everything's nice and dry. my image is all colored, I'm going to go ahead and use a coordinating dye, and I'm going to go ahead and run that through my Big Shot and cut that out. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a piece of foam tape to the back of the image. I'm going to put that in the bottom corner of the front of the box. And then I'm going to take the little um, word die that comes in the set. I'm going to use the one that's XO. And I'm going to use a little tag die as well. So I'm going to use a piece of vellum to die cut the tag. And then I'm going to use the same color cardstock that I used for the box, with the rose colored cardstock. And I'm going to cut out two of the XOs. And I'm just going to run that through my big shot to do that with. This is a good thing where scrap paper comes in handy. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take a, um, when I get it out of my Big Shot, I'm just going to take a glue pen, um, and some kind of fine glue pen, and just use that to adhere the XOXO to my little tag. And then once I have the tag on there, I'm going to use a white gumdrop. Then I'm going to attach that to the top of the tag. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Ranger Multimedia Mat to the back of the gumdrop. And then I'm going to add a little bit behind the first XO. Um, you can hide it behind the actual word behind the vellum so you don't see it. And then I'm going to adhere that to the side of the box. This box, this die is kind of cute because you could use it for lots of party favors. Um, little mini gifts from treats for teachers or the mailman or something like that at Christmas. You can decorate with any image and any color. So this is a great die to have in your collection. So I'm going to add that tag and that pretty much finishes up the little box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.